Hello, sound check, one, two. Uh, let me start a recording here just in case I ever get my recordings up. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to have to put that toy up. They're having so much fun with it. I can't believe how far Holly can drag that thing on the elastic string. Come on now, power off. There we go. Good job, kiddo. Nearly got away with it, too. Hi, Ari. Are you going to sit in your bed? Because I'm going to sit in your bed. Okay. I'm going to sit right here, bud. Oh. Nice. You can sit here too. There's still room. Ari. Hi, bud. Come here. Hi, Cal. How are you feeling after your surgery? Uh -huh. You seem like you're pretty recovered today. <clears throat> I sound like I'm not, and I've been sneezy all morning too. Maybe it's more than allergies. Or maybe it's just allergies. It is the season. All right. Well, it is about mailbag time. I should move this floor camera over a little bit. Hi, Cal. You look like you're doing fine today, huh? And I saw you not getting all hissy at everybody earlier. Let's see if that sticks or not. Okay, so I'm sorry if I'm a little sniffy today. Uh, it's not going to be a very long mailbag anyway, I don't think. Uh, news of the week. Uh, actually, I didn't check to make sure that you guys could even hear me, I guess. Uh, let me just double check that one. <laughs> I guess you can. Um, I'll try not to be too sniffy if I can avoid it. So, um, the news of the week. There's, there's really not actually that much uh, going on. Cal got her spay and she seems like she's recovering very well. And the kids upstairs are all healthy and, and grown up wonderfully. And um, right now, that's about all there is to it, I think. Uh, things are looking good. So we still do need adopters for, um, for Cal and Holly. And I think it's Monday um, that I haven't heard from uh, yet. So I need to make sure, double sure, I guess. I can't officially say that we need a new, new adopter for them because that's up to Dawes. But... Um, I feel like if I haven't heard anything at this point from uh, Monday's people, I may not. Uh, and then Friday's people are scheduled to pick up on the 14th. Um, and hopefully I haven't got Monday and Friday reversed there, but I don't think so. So uh, right now we definitely could use new applicants for those two girls at least and probably Monday. Um, that happens sometimes. You know, it's not a big deal. There's lots of reasons that people uh, drop out of the application process even after being approved. Uh, one of them can be that it's a long wait, you know, for the couple, th three months that the kittens stay here typically. Um, it is a long wait, and some people, you know, they're not up for waiting that long. Um, but there's plenty of other reasons, too. You never know what's going on in somebody's life. So uh, we always figure that the cats eventually end up with the right people anyway. So it, it all works out one way or the other. Uh, no big deal there, and these kittens will all find their correct people in due time. Boy, you've got some serious stuff going on. He's got, I think it's that same URI that's going around that's affecting him again, or still. Um, his eyes have been extremely weepy, and he's a little bit snorty. And, uh, wow, extremely weepy. I'm going to be a mess now. I should have wipes in here. So... Anyway, I said it would be a uh, short mailbag, and uh, there we go. Already, I'm way off the subject. Boy, that is disgusting, buddy. Uh, okay. Hi, pal. Hi. Yeah, oh, you're such a cutie boy, though. Kind of snorty cutie boy. All right. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's everything for the week, I think. Uh, let me double check, make sure everything looks like it's good. Triple check, whatever we're at there. Good enough.
And I guess we might as well just jump in. Now, there's no separate letters this week. There are a couple of boxes that um, were not sent straight through Amazon, so may, in fact, have letters in them. Um, but nothing on its own. So we can dive right into opening boxes. And I, um, well, uh, I don't know where to start, actually. Okay, uh, I'm going to start over on this side. Here we go. Oh, there's a note. This says, Hello, hello, Multi-Mom Academy. Please use a couple for deployment and the rest for endowments. Hopefully some moms will want to play with them at the Academy in between kittens and shrimpachinos. From Share Bear. Thank you in advance, Share Bear. I think these are the long-tailed mice. That's what they look like in the box. Let's find out. Uh, I just thought there might be a second note because there's two boxes here. But that's it. Share bear. I know, and it looks like they are the long-tailed mice. Perfect. Well, I will take a couple of these to go upstairs to the ladies. Uh, I think they're just about... Uh, Sky, for sure, is very playful now and just loves to play. I almost feel like Cuddles might be almost ready to play with me. I brought a toy in there for her the other day, but I haven't gotten around to actually trying it with her yet. Um, but she is doing so well, Cuddles is, uh, as far as, as getting uh, along with me in particular. Uh, in the morning, she likes to get up. She just is so excited to see me in the morning. She gets up and she trots right over and she's got her tail straight up in the air and like shaking. She's so excited, her tail's shaking. Oh, she's just so glad to see me. And even if I put the food down, if I stand there, she'd rather be rubbing up on my ankles than going for the food. So I know it's about me that she's so excited. Um, but we haven't quite figured out the right language for petting when we're not at the box of kids. Like when we're at the box of kids, I, I've got her figured out now. We speak the same language and I know how to pet her and it's all happy. Um, but she is just so full of excitement when she's over there by the food dish trying to get petted that uh, very often she'll hiss or swat at me and then all of a sudden be like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know, like you can tell she, she was just carried away in the moment. Uh, but we still haven't quite figured out how to, to pet her over there without setting that up. It's trickier because I'm standing up usually and I'm like leaning over her. And that's that's a tricky thing for any cat to deal with. So I think some of it's just sort of learning that. I don't want to change what I'm doing too much, um, you know, but I, I do want to give her time to get used to it, I think, in this case. So. So, yeah, we're still working on that part. But other than that, she is just we're, we're really getting along well. Um so, uh, so I think that it might be soon that she'll be ready to play with something. And thank you so much for that, Share Bear. All right. We have Monday and we have a Teaspoon here now. Uh, let's finish off this side here. That's just in one other box. This is uh, Novra. Novra, N-O-V-R-A, Novra. Um, and I'm assuming that that's the only note we're going to get because it's a Walmart box. So... Um, if you have already messaged me on Discord to tell me about this, I don't think I've seen it. Uh, have I? Oh, wow, what is this? A mysterious bag of eggshell powder. Ingredients, eggshells. Hmm. For uh, calcium, I see. This must be, uh, well, I'll have to find out. This must be something for our nursing moms, I'm assuming, is the idea. I've not heard of this before. Hmm. Farm fresh eggshells pasteurized and finely ground for maximum absorption. That's interesting. Um, and it, it feels like the bag feels so finely ground. Um, that's, uh, that's very interesting. But there is, as I guess, no notes. So Nova, I'm going to have to check on Discord and figure out um, exactly what that is about. Uh, oh, there you're on my phone. Hi, Teaspoon. Hi, buddy. Hi. You having trouble finding a spot to settle down? Is Monday in your place? Uh, that happens sometimes. All right. Uh, I wonder if I have a message somewhere from Novra. If I do, I'm not going to see it right now because I'm just scanning through and I don't see it. Uh, but there's a lot. There's always a lot. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Uh, that's fine. That's a mystery we'll figure out later on. I'm interested. I'm very interested. Uh, pure eggshell powder. It's got a picture of um, a dog and a cat on the front. So, I mean, this is sort of the idea, I guess. 
uh, it's like a, a supplement, a calcium supplement. Uh, and I can see how a mom cat might need that or want that. Uh, we've never really done it before, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't try something if that's the case. I'll be interested to hear. So, all right, uh, this is, this is, I don't know, it's got some cute little washi tape on the front that's holding the, the uh, address, but otherwise it is nondescript. So let's find out here. All right, inside we have the note. So this is clearly from somebody who knows what's up. Ooh, and it's sealed with a little sticker of a seal, which is cute. Uh, like a, like a sticker of an envelope seal. It's a, yeah, it's a picture of the thing that it is. Uh, but it's not a pipe. Okay, so it is a, actually a photo of a bunch of little flowers in vases, various pretty colored vases. And inside it says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I saw a couple of fun items on a low-cost, popular shopping website, Grin, that I thought could be used at KA. There's a small sign and also two churu dispensers. Don't know if you have anything similar. They are spoons, but then they squeeze the tube as you feed. Hope they work from Lily Cat. Oh, well, I, that's, I've never heard of such a thing. So let's see. Um, first, I think this must be the sign. Let's look at that first. Here we go. Just so you know, there's like a lot of cats in here. Yep. Uh, well, we can put that just about anywhere. Um, on the house, on any of our rooms. Uh, yep. So uh, thank you so much. That's cute. I'm now very curious to see what these churu dispensers are about, though. Oh, wow. That's sort of complex. It's, uh, it's like a long uh, silicone or no plastic, um, like a hard plastic spoon. And it's got a long groove on it, sort of the size and shape of, uh, maybe you could fit a churu packet in the groove. It's not even a groove, really. It's more just uh, curved on one side. And it's got a little slider that looks like it would go down the groove and completely, flat. there's not much room between the slider and the, the spoon, so um, it seems like it would very completely flatten out a tube of churu if one were in here. And I guess this little slot at the end is to thread the end through so that it stays in place as you push the slider. So they really thought of everything. And then at the bottom here, uh, you have the spoon itself. So you would put the packet in laying this way with the little tail end through here. And then you just slide this thing down and all the churu would squeeze out into the spoon for them to lick up. It's cute. I, I don't see myself like going to find this in the cabinet every time I want to give out a churu, but I totally want to try it and I think it's going to be fun. Uh, and maybe I will end up going for it every time if it turns out that it's really nice and uh, makes it less of a mess. That's, uh, I'm super interested about it. So thank you so much for the sign and uh, for the uh, churu dispenser. Wow, who knew? Uh, wow. Huh. I am really, really, really curious to try it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. I was just thinking of when I was a kid, there was like a toothpaste dispenser thing that I thought was interesting uh, that basically held the tube of toothpaste and it had like two wheels on it and you would like crank it through like a, like an old time laundry machine like with the crank and the two wheels and you put the laundry through to dry it out like an old laundry wringer uh, that you'd use manually on a tub. I uh, like that, but for a tube of toothpaste, like a little one, and you'd go like this and it would crank it, and it was just, it was way overcomplicated and huge and uh, ridiculous. Like, who does that? But uh, I thought it was really cool. This is obviously a much more practical design, um, but I don't think I would do my toothpaste like that. I don't know why not. You could just have it on the back of the toothbrush. <laughs> you'd be brushing with the entire tube every time on, on your toothbrush handle. I could see that working. Where did I put my knife? That's such a dumb idea. Uh, okay. There it is. <laughs> All right. So we have a really pretty envelope here. And I think this is from Mishi uh, 60. So let's see. Uh, if I don't see any other credit, that's going to be our my credit for this one is uh, Mishi 60. 
It looks like, though, this is shipped from somebody at Etsy, as uh, she often does there. Oh, this is so cute. So, uh, let's see, Toys by Tiny, and it is an Etsy shop, uh, Toys by Tiny. So we'll say this is uh, thanks to Mishi, uh, which I just... Oh, there is, there's a note on the toy. To Professor Teaspoon, congrats to your new job. Please marinate accordingly. All right. These are very cute toys. Um, I, it's some sort of a little cartoon character, but it could be almost anything. It's, it doesn't have a lot of features. A worm, uh, the head of a dragon, maybe, uh, like a Muppet kind of a thing. It's got kind of a Muppet look to it. You see that? It's a super adorable. Those eyes are really cute. Uh, and the little card is also super cute. You can see that to Professor Teaspoon. Then there's also a little dinosaur-themed catnip kicker like that. Really cute print. And another dinosaur. So I guess he's a dinosaur head. That would make the most sense. Oh, we've got a couple things, actually. This is a fish. I thought this dinosaur was attached to it, but it's not attached to it. It's separate. So a dinosaur and a fish. Hi, buddy. Okay, this is technically for Professor Teaspoon, but I think he would let you play with it. There he is. Hey, buddy. You want to come check this out? Oh, okay, I guess not, but oh, they're having fun. Okay, uh, he's super adorable, this dinosaur, I guess, head. Um, really, really, really cute. I think Teaspoon's going to love it. I think DJ's going to get a real kick out of it, too. So maybe, oh, maybe I'll put it away until she's here to see it. The string just came untied from this ro uh, rod, and I don't know if I'll be able to thread it right now. No, definitely not. The hole that they have drilled in the rod to put the thread through is just exactly the size of the thread, and it's all frayed at the end now. So I'm going to have to put this in my pocket so they don't run away with it and the string now. Oh, oh wait a minute. I think I got it. Don't pull. Don't yank. No yanking. Oh, I did. I got it. Oh, don't, don't, don't yank. Uh, hang on. All right, let's tie it out in this real quick. Uh, this is some cute stuff, though. That dinosaur guy, uh, T Toys by Tiny, is uh, the Etsy shop. Again, uh, thank you to Mishi for sending these. <laughs> for Professor Teaspoon, <laughs> congrats on your new job. That's so cute. Okay, that's not a proper way to tie a knot on the end of this thing to hold it, but that's not going to stop me from doing it that way. In fact, let's go, this is a little more proper. Let's go double on this. It's okay. It's okay, cow. Okay, I still am going to have to put this away, buddy. Well, maybe I can just hold it here so that you can't run away with it. Okay, well, he plays with that. Uh, where were we? Let's see. Uh, that was the Churu dispensers. This is Mishi 60 for teaspoon. Oh, there's another little tiny dinosaur back here. Look at that. We got the big one and the little one. Almost missed that guy. All right, we need a box to put this stuff into. I guess we'll uh, we'll come back to that. In fact, let's open some boxes here. So. Wow. Oh, this, I saw this. This was so cute. It says, please ship to Eddie and friends with two little hearts and the tidiest handwriting. And then on this side, it says, read the postcard for first. It's inside. So that's helpful. Okay. Oh, very nice handwriting. It's got our address on a little card in here again. And then we have a postcard for Pikes Peak, Colorado. Beautiful, like flock print, uh, like an old-timey uh, poster style, really, is what it looks like. Uh, literally, like, posterized. Oh, hey, okay. Uh, dear Eddie... Oh, uh, okay to read on stream. That's great. Dear Eddie, Happy New Year. It's a little late, but in my defense, I'm pretty sure 2023 was only three or four months long. I didn't have the time or energy to make New Year's cards this year, so please enjoy this view of Pike's Peak from Garden of the Gods instead. I'm in the U.S. visiting family now, so I'm taking the opportunity to avoid international shipping and send you a few treats from Japan. Please feel free to share them with your friends and even Loganberry if you want. 
I hope that you and everyone at Kitten Academy have a wonderful 2024 with your newest faculty member. Keep on shedding. Love, Emily, who is Chocolate Chip on Discord. Uh, Chocolate Chip, thank you so much. It's a very sweet card. What a wonderful thought. That's so nice of you to think of us while you're traveling the world. Um, I really appreciate it. And let's see here. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is uh, very nicely wrapped gifts, too. I think this is sort of the style that uh, DJ and I were talking about with the, um, the wonderful Japanese gift wrapping that we saw on YouTube. Amazing. It's, uh, it's really pretty. And, um, and unfortunately, I'm just going to like tear it off. This says, uh, for, for Mr. A, yo dog, I heard you like socks. All right. Well, I certainly do like socks. Uh, timely reference there. <laughs> this is so pretty. Wow, uh, it's like uh, bottles of sake, I assume. Oh, and socks in it. Uh, that's like a pun. Very clever. Uh, these are very pretty little socks, and there's socks on socks in sake. Wow, that's levels deep. This is a sock that has a print of socks on it. Um, I like it. That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> This is so pretty, all of it. The socks are also very pretty. It's subtle. I don't know how many people would notice that right away. Uh, but when they do, there's definitely a chuckle there. All right. Uh, I'll have to open DJ's too since she's not here right now. And in fact, I love it. You said for Dr. DJ, but okay for Mr. A to open. Thank you for not leaving me in the question there. Oh, oh, let's see if I can get this untied. I got the first one real easy. There we go. This is also pretty. It's got fans on it. Uh, fans with flowers on them. And inside we have... Oh, okay. Some sort of a card-shaped thing. A booklet. All right. A booklet that is... Oh, wow. It's some sort of pictures of cats. You can stick it, peel it off, and play repeatedly. Oh, it's like a vinyl sticker book of cats. That must be what it is. I see all these different breeds of cats. Oh, yes, that's that's what it is. So the first few pages have stickers of all these various cats, and then it talks about each of the breeds of the cats here. Uh, and then the next page, these are all stickers. These are notes about the different breeds. You have the playrooms that you can then put the little stickers in and move them around and have all of your little fun uh, times, I guess, with your cats. Here we get a set of all the beds. Of course, the cats would be sleeping out here in the margins, I guess. We've got a little uh, homely home scene there. Oh, wow. We've got even a climbing wall and stuff. This is perfect. How fun. Oh, and there's more stickers and more breeds at the end, too. So there's even more to play with. Oh, there's just cute little tiny kitten ones. That is adorable. And then you... Oh, oh, there's also a bonus stickers in here, I see, too. What are these? These are little tiny cat heads. They're adorable. Wow. <laughs> they're like little tiny cat emojis. Oh, they're so small. Okay, but they're, uh, each cat is uh, definitely showing some emotion. Buddy. <laughs> All right, you nailed it. It's from a capsule machine, but I took it out of the capsule to save space. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, let's see. There was an artist that did some uh, cute little capsule machine kittens recently, and I like went online and found the entire set, and uh, I just thought they were... Well, that wasn't so recently now, but it was fun. Uh, this is a really cute little round kitty in a pendant, and he's holding a peach like it was a big ball of yarn or something, and uh, probably laying on his back. It is adorable. He's got his little ears down. It's very, very pretty. So it's like a pendant or a charm uh, with a really cute little art of a kitty on it. And that peach, that's adorable. Thank you so much for sending these. I know DJ's going to appreciate it very much. I wish I could uh, tie this back up exactly the way you had it. I'm, I've just got a vague idea, but I think DJ would really appreciate seeing it the way you had it. I'm going to try this. I think he basically just had it in a double knot, didn't you? More or less. We're going to try that anyway. There we go. I don't want to tie it too tight and mess up what you got in there. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty. 
Okay, there's one other thing in here, a bag, a plastic bag, that says, many thanks for cats and kittens with some notes for Mr. A. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, we've got, ooh, there's even more in here than I thought. We, so we have some uh, churu here. It's the real stuff. Ooh, it's the, probably the same as what you can get in the U.S. Uh, who knows, but this is a chicken and Sea of Japan crab, chicken and kurogi uh, wagyu beef, I guess. It's fancy stuff. Delicious enough for a cat, but made for a kitten. <laughs> That's cute. So we got a kitten formula and uh, a chicken and a beef, I guess. Chicken and beef. All right. So this is the uh, same brand that does Churu, but this is the, apparently their Japanese branding, which is really cool to see. Uh, DJ is probably going to appreciate that too. And I have the perfect way to serve these up. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, put that over there. There's also uh, uh, Doriyaki. Okay. I'm, I, oh, and uh, Taiyaki, I guess I don't, I'm not familiar with uh, either of those, if I'm honest, uh, but I, it's a fish and there's a, like a bun here with a little dog on it, um, or I guess it's a cat, actually, I don't know why I said dog, he's got like a fat doggy face, kind of, uh, it's really cute, it says, cleans teeth, I see, it's made of that same material that they sell as teeth cleaning material here uh, for cats. So that's very cute. It looks like they're together on one string, probably. There's the fish here and the sort of bun uh, there. I assume it's some sort of a bun thing. I guess I don't know why I don't know. Um, okay, and then there's one more thing here. It's just, it's just pet glasses, really cute tortoise shell, stylish glasses, and it just you've written good luck. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, we'll try our best. Oh, wow, it's even got little tiny, it's even got a little tiny, this is so detailed, um, little tiny arms that are proper and a little tiny neck band, like the real kind that goes on the arms of the, uh, the glasses, just like this. That's so legit, wow. I think this looks like a Maggie style to me. <clears throat> I don't see myself actually being able to get her to wear these, but I could, it seems like it's her style, doesn't it? Would you let me put this on you Monday? You don't put up with this kind of nonsense, do you? Oh, but you look stylish, buddy. You look real good like that. Oh, man. I don't know if any of the cameras are really getting him. I hope they are, because it's perfect. You look good. You look real good. Let me see if I can get a picture of him before we take it away. Yeah, styling, buddy. Real good. I feel like, I feel like my lenses are dirty. Oh, yeah, that seems better. Oh. Very cute, pal. That looked pretty good, huh? I'm surprised how well you put up with that. I wonder if any of these came out well enough for Discord. Looking super sharp. Now I can definitely see that my lens needed cleaning. <clears throat> so the ones before aren't that great. I'm still going to post one. All right, I'm just posting all of these. There we go. All right, well, that's so cute. That's uh, that's adorable stuff. I'm, that's Thank you. I'm surprised how well he put up with this. He was just sitting here, but uh, chances are I'm not going to get another good shot like that. All right, I'm going to put all that in there and put this in here. And this, I'm going to put, I think, back in here with it, right? Yeah, I'm going to put that right back in there. That way I can enjoy it again together. Thank you so much for thinking of us that way. And the things you sent are really cute and thoughtful. And uh, just thank you very, very much. I don't even know what else to say. Uh, much appreciated. Okay. This is another one. And I, I think it's just coincidence that it's this color. But it is also from Mishi60, who had the other... Uh, package this color, or maybe it's from the same Etsy person. Let's find out. 
<laughs> oh, I don't think it's the same Etsy person. This is from Peace Love Cats Gifts, and it says Cuddles. Cuddles on it, and it is a per pack for Cuddles. I think she'll like that. Oh, it says Cuddles. Welcome to KA. Thought that would be easier for kittens to spell. You're at the finest of institutions. Now study hard, but play hard harder with love from Mishi60. Thank you so much, Mishi60. This is a cute set, too. This has a wand toy with a... There's a wooden wand in there somewhere, and then a long, uh, like, polar fleece string on it. That seems like the kind of thing she would really like, too. And then inside, we have a whole bunch of... Wow, some fun toys. We have uh, what appears to be another of the same toy. So we got two of these in there, which are good. I can use one in each hand, like God of War. Uh, old God of War, anyway. I, I haven't played the new ones. I need to keep getting back to that. haven't done it yet. All right, we have a uh, Tiki Cat version of Churu. We have a bag of Temptation treats. We have all kinds of little wacky mice. One of these things, I still don't know what to call it, but very popular. There's one there next to the bee. Uh, springs, balls, a packet of catnip, all kinds of stuff. Look at that poof ball, some Charlie balls, plastic balls, another mouse. Uh, that is a real great set of toys um, for her. So, thank you so much, Mishi, for this and the other. I am going to try to fold this back up more or less. I love it. It says cuddles right on the outside, too. So sweet. All right, put that right there. Where does that leave us? I guess we will do this one next. This says it is from Ionice on Discord. I hope that's the way you say your name there. Ionice. Oh, oh wow, what is this stuff? It looks like coffee, Kona coffee. Oh, wow. 100% Kona coffee. That is the real deal. That's going to be fun. Um, but let's see. There's got to be a note somewhere. There is. All right. The note. Hmm. More interesting stuff in that box. I can't wait to see what this is all about. All right. We have some Impressionist artwork here. Uh, could be a Van Gogh. It looks Van Gogh-y to me. It is. Okay, there we go. I don't know all of his work that well, but uh, definitely had the impression. <laughs> uh, okay, so where are we? It says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the kitties, it took me a moment to find a note card, and at that time I realized I just might be a little over-dependent upon Amazon. Yeah, well, aren't we all? Uh, I had the chance to go to Hawaii, where there are all things pineapple, so naturally, my thoughts turned to K.A. T-shirt and bag to be shared between Mr. A and DJ, as you see fit. The Li Hing powder is an amazing, I'm sorry, is amazing on top of pineapple. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I was hoping to see an ingredient that would tell me what it is, but they've kind of covered that over, so I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see here. The uh, Li Hing powder is amazing on top of pineapple. After having it a couple times, I found some on Amazon for my private stash and thought you'd like to try it too. It's a dried plum powder. Oh, interesting. Uh, finally, coffee, Kona coffee, is grown only in Hawaii and is one of my favorite coffees. Hope you enjoy. Happy mailbag, everyone, from Ionice on Discord. Thank you so much, Ionice. I, um, yeah, I've had 100% uh, Kona coffee very rarely, and it is wonderful. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and uh, the plum powder on... Uh, pineapple is something that I am definitely willing to try. I want to see what this tastes like. Can I just like see what the powder is like by itself? It smells like Lucky Charms marshmallows, kind of ish. That's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, maybe. Okay. It's good. It's like a salty, fruity flavor. Very salty. Mm. 
And it does have a, the fruity part, the plum powder, I guess, the fruit component does have a certain sort of breakfast cereal like fruitiness to it, like a Fruit Loops or something. Um, and the saltiness is uh, intense saltiness. It probably really brings out the flavor of the pineapple quite a bit. I'm excited to try this. I think I have a pineapple that's ripe and ready in there, I hope. If I don't, I will have to get one right away. I usually do. Uh, I'm so excited to try that. So you also sent, as you said, a bag. Oh, it's the uh, it's that artist, the Hawaiian uh, Bill um, uh, Kleben. Uh, that's so cute. It says cat and apple, and it is a cat having a nap on a pineapple. I see what he did there. He took the two words and like mashed them together into one word. That's, uh, <laughs> I'm making fun because that's like all I do ever. Uh, it's very cute. I love it. The art's adorable. And... Oh, we have the same one here. It's on a uh, t-shirt. This one says, I think, uh, wow, it's a nice t-shirt. Uh, Dole Plantation, Hawaii. Yeah, thank you very much for that. I'm looking forward to wearing it. It's adorable. Cat and apple. Uh, thanks. That's a, that's a wonderful set of stuff. It's really nice of you. It's thoughtful. You went to Hawaii and you thought of us. Like That really means a lot to me and, and to the kitties. Uh, and I'm super looking forward to the coffee and this on some pineapple. Oh, man, I can't wait to see how that is. It's actually really yummy. I could see that being good on some, some uh, other stuff, perhaps. I'll have to think about it. It is really salty, though. I think uh, sometimes uh, some of the Indian food and uh, recipes call for, like, dried... I think it's dried gooseberry powder, which is, I would, that's what, that's what I imagined it would be like, kind of like this fruity um, powder. Um, it's really not, though. It's not that great. This stuff's much better. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. This is a little tiny jewelry bag, I think, but I don't think it has anything in it right now because it was uh, shipped in a way that it's basically open. So maybe something fell out, or maybe that's a, it's just a little tiny bag. I don't know. It does say key ring. So, okay, let's see. It probably just fell out of the little baggie somewhere because that was already open. It's a cute little baggie. Okay, hang on now. There's notes and stuff. We're getting there. Rar, hi, Mr. A. Just a little gift for you and DJ. Thanks for all that you do for my kitten friends. From Professor, uh, not faculty, and my human, Bellamy. Bellamy and Professor, uh, thank you very much. You also say, enclosed are my favorite lickables for bribes and to share with those that have exquisite tastes, a.k.a. don't like churus. Cat toys are for cuddles and skylight from Professor, not the faculty Professor, um, and, of course, my human, uh, Bellamy. So, Bellamy, thank you very much for, let's see, what are these? These are for the mom cats. I see two really cute knit catnip cats. Here, let's get them out so you can see them. And I will put them in my pockets to bring up there with those mice. Those are adorable. Look at that little guy. And this one. That's uh, And they're made of like a soft, uh, like a chenille sort of... Uh, maybe it's more of like a weird corduroy, actually. Anyway, very soft-looking material. Uh, they're super cute. And I thought I already put those mice in one of my pockets, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There they are. Okay. That can go upstairs for the mom. You also sent... I see. This is the Better Than Churus. This is the Cat It Creamy 50 Tubes Worth. Wow. Chicken and shrimp recipe. Cool. We will try it out. I think DJ said that um, Teaspoon only likes the chicken varieties, not the fish varieties. Maybe I've got that backwards. Um... But uh, at any rate, she will have a lot of fun trying something new on him. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, that's all the notes. But um, if there was something in this little packet here, I do not see it anywhere. It uh, apparently went missing before it even got sent, I guess. Unless it, I find it when I stand up and I'm cleaning things out. Uh, let's just double check everything really quick to make sure, though. It's a cute little baggie. Uh, but that's all that it is. It's just a little bag. Yeah, uh, just so you know. Okay. Um, well, let's put this out here anyway, because it is cute. We can probably use that for something. 
All right. Well, moving right along. Thank you so much for that stuff. The, the cat ate creamy, especially. I think I'm excited to see how they like it. I wonder if we can use it in the Juru dispensing. <laughs> uh, the Juru dispensing spoons. I bet you know it's probably fit right in there exactly the same. Unless they have like microchip protections in there, like the Keurig uh, thing um, had has. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably how they do it. They get real high tech on this stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, one more big box here. Oh, uh, that reminds me, though. Laura Kitten Fan, I think it was. Laura Kitten, anyway, on the uh, return address, sent in a heavy package with uh, two cases of the food that we feed, the new low food, and I left that in the garage because it was heavy. So, Laura Kitten, uh, thank you so much for that. Um, I almost forgot to uh, mention it. That would have been really sad because I definitely intended to. Uh, but I remembered this one is kind of heavy and that's what got me to think about it. So I'm not going to try to pick it up, especially not from this angle with teaspoon in my lap. Huh. A new hammock for Maggie or for the kittens from R. The mysterious R. I'm not sure I know who R is in this case. I'm sorry. Maybe I should. Uh, but it does just say, from R, a new hammock for Maggie. Well, that's so sweet and thoughtful of you. There was the hammock that was in this room that Maggie had been spending quite a bit of time in, surprisingly. Uh, I think it had been down here or somewhere else for quite a while before, and nobody paid it much attention. But it got popular here, and this must be the same one, the one that's got the little palm tree on the end. Um, uh, Mysterious R, thank you. I will set it out here so that I remember to put it together and put it right here. Uh, oh. <laughs> Buddy, uh, it is a little heavy. Okay, put this right over here. All right, all that without disturbing a teaspoon? How good am I? Good enough, I guess. Well... That's Mailbag. Uh, thank you to everyone for literally everything. You take wonderful care of the kittens and of us. Uh, that's two things today from people that went somewhere uh, away from home and thought of us while they were there. That's so sweet. And, and lots of real good goodies for the kittens. My pocket's full of stuff to bring to the mom cats upstairs. I'm looking forward to all of it, so I'm going to get on that right as soon as I get up, buddy. Are you ready for me to get up? Cal, whoever you're starting with, unstart it. Yeah, I see you running away. Who is she chasing? She just chased somebody into the sunroom. It is Holly, but I think they're playing, perhaps. Holly's coming this way now. She doesn't seem upset. I just wonder if that was all play for her finally. That would be really nice. I know, buddy. I know. You got a little bit of that cold happening. You're very snorty. You got some snorts happening. You want to sit here while I go clean everything up? Why don't we put you over here in the bear? Do you ever sit in the bear? All right, let's try that out. Sit right over here, buddy. Here, try that. Try this bed right here for a sec. What do you think? Good? Bad? There we go. Stuff to go upstairs versus stuff to go to the kitchen. That'll get us there. Some of the way there. Okay, 
we can take two boxes up. We can take this to the kitchen. That's staying right here. These are going downstairs. All right, we're going to get this. Let me get up. Uh, I should probably turn this mic off. Hang on. I'm going to put you guys back to the regular mic. Regular mic. Let's do that. Hang on. You have a pineapple. I'm very excited. 
Uh, all right, that's it. I'm gonna end my recording right here. Uh, you can start playing the string again for a little bit here. As long as I'm walking around for a little bit. Where is he? There you go. All right. Uh, thanks again to everybody for everything. You're wonderful. Uh, take good care of the shit, and I really appreciate it.
play back like 30 seconds behind. She really take that thing a long way. Oh, she's doing it again. The clamp on this toy is especially strong. If this were a regular one, it probably, a regular door hanging toy, she probably would have tore it off. But these clamps are uh, very solid. The string might break. You guys good? Time to take a break?